What's up, boys and girls? Tweety here. We are on the Feed the Beast Pixelitarium server. And some bad news. Um, I don't know. This world might be broken. I don't know. We'll uh, um, have to see, but I want to show you what I've been doing. As you can see, I got some uh, Eye of Enders, so I went and looked for a stronghold. And I will show you where it took me. It took me here. Right? You, you can see through this because um, in my texture pack, I don't have the... Uh, crap, what are these? What are these blocks? They're one of the ones you made. The silverwood block. Hello? Where are you at? I picked it up. Oh, it would be in the builders. That's right. There's silverwood planks. Uh, yeah, my texture pack doesn't have those, so they're basically a invisible see-through block, so I can kind of look around. That's what I've been doing here. Um, but I'll show you what happens. It took me to this spot. We're pretty far down. Um, about 30 blocks down, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That goes always to the same spot. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know what that means. It may be um, it didn't, you know, the, uh, uh, what am I thinking of? The spawn is supposed to be here, but uh, maybe there was an update before we actually discovered where the spawn was. I, I mean, this is where the uh, center of the um, of the stronghold is supposed to be. But because there was an update, it got moved to somewhere else, and now these things are all screwed up, and they still lead to the same exact spot. Oh, I lost two. Um, anyway, I put these blocks in so I could look around and see if I could find, uh, you know, any inkling of, you know, the uh, stone you know, the stone bricks, and I can't, there's no stone bricks anywhere that I can see. Um, so I don't know what's, what's going on, why it's like that. Um, looked all over, looked over here, and you can't see, whoa, hello, come back down here. So you can't see anything anywhere. Still looking around. There is a little ravine over here. I've heard that they can get consumed by a ravine. But uh, I don't know if it's because uh, an update. I heard that could be a problem. Like the uh, the update could um, screw with where th these are supposed to be. The uh, strongholds are supposed to be. Or um, maybe it's this mod pack. It needs to have... Uh, maybe because Mistcraft is installed, we have to create the portal, you know, using Mistcraft stuff. I don't know. I haven't talked to Gerbo yet. I'm going to get him on later, as soon as I can, and, and discuss this issue with him. And uh, we may need to cheat in the uh, portal blocks, just so that we can make a uh, end portal. Because uh, I need uh, Ender Bees f to continue my my quest for getting the um, the Thomcraft Bees. Yeah, and uh, I've also I went to spawn and uh, threw one of these guys and followed it away from where it wanted me to go because it'd bring me back here. 
and I went 6,000 blocks away and it was still wanting to bring me here. Um, I'm not exactly sure how those work. If maybe, you know, the next one won't be available for me to look for until this one has been uh, completed or if it brings you to the closest one. And if it does bring you to the closest one, where's the next one? Where's the next closest one? Is there a, is there a way to find it without knowing the uh, seed number and everything? Because this doesn't show me the seed, does it? Da, 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 da. No, now it's on the uh, older, older versions did the seed. This one doesn't have seed on it. Um, so anyway, uh, Show you what I've been up to. Uh, let's see, I can't remember if I showed you these. I modified the script just a little bit. Um, show, shows how many uh, how many pieces of paper that it's produced since the last time, or since it's been uh, turned on. So I've uh, created uh, 1167 books. I've created 3,000 pieces of paper. I've enchanted. I go down here. I do this. Get to the enchanting um, turtles as well. Added the script in there. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. I got it turned off right now, but I've uh, cra enchanted uh, 1,100 books, 1,142 books from that one. And this guy has enchanted 137 books. I've also, <coughs> excuse me, I've also added um, the um, soul shards spawners over on this side, and it just as uh, an attempt to see if it'll work and and whatever. And you know, eventually I'll probably get rid of this thing just because you have to be here for it to work and uh, with the uh, with those things I don't need to be in the area for it to be doing stuff uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on this thing works like a charm my uh, my little rocky queen with aggressive aggression on it works very nicely and yeah, as you can see, it just brings it down enough so that it's a uh, one-shot kill for my turtles. So they don't have to work as hard, and uh, if there is a, you know, huge buildup in here, uh, they can handle it no problem. And, uh, yeah, my, my turtle still collects everything properly. <coughs> I also added a script onto this one and this one to collect any uh, any item that's been um, you know just in here so you see that grass block is gone now put the gunpowder down oh you probably won't do that one because it's not down low enough but yeah anything that's down in the in the water stream there gets sucked up no matter what and uh, oh look at that I got some some comb as well. <coughs> a little thing about how these um, how these guys work. They're uh, like this guy has a nine by three or nine by six by nine effective area. <coughs> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat, but uh, that means that it goes, you know, four this way four that way you know makes a nine by nine square and then it goes six up and down well the this is one two this level here is three so anything higher than that it doesn't get and then it goes three below so uh, one one where is that uh, where would that be? Let me see. Okay, so here. So one, two, three. So this is the lowest. 
that it would affect anything. And I set it up so up here this way so that they would uh, just have um, you know five levels of being attacked basically. Uh, I had it up one before and they still every once in a while you'd get a two shot and uh, any lower and then they die inside the tube. So yeah, that works works well. In fact, they probably still die in the tube. Yeah, see there's some string there. Some string. But, uh, yeah, so we got that. Good. Um, I'm thinking about refining this a little bit. Maybe make uh, these things point backwards. So that everything goes in that direction. So I can... Uh, prettify this area and you won't be able to see any of these tubes or anything but then again I can always you know, just put uh, covers on them put uh, the facades over these things and yeah everything is going good let's go see how much I've had that thing on for like two days straight and I'm kind of curious how much gold I have now from the um, from the uh, guys there. Oh, wow! 369 stacks. Wow. Alrighty. Huh. That's pretty it. awesome. I know that uh, this guy's full. And what else is full? That's getting full. That's from uh, my uh, my moistener. How's all this stuff going in here? I'm doing good. Still making the stuff. Uh, this thing's probably full. Yep. <coughs> I've uh, found that with this diamond pipe, um, see, I only have mulch as going to the red. Everything else goes black. So when this is full. Uh, the mulch actually skips it and goes down into the chest, goes back to my sorting system. It, that was a unintended uh, side effect that uh, works out very well. And of course these guys are full always. This thing has plenty of plenty of saplings in it. And uh, yeah, I, I think I figured out uh, the uh, the changes that they're going to make to the um, the fermenters um, the they are going to lower the amount that uh, that the saplings give you know so they won't be giving uh, the point eight with using water point eight buckets you know but uh, they may do that if you can breed these things properly uh, to get the um, appropriate trait with the uh, tree species. So like I believe these are apple oaks and you'd be able to uh, crossbreed them with other um, other trees to get produce more saplings each time and increase their sappiness is what I've heard um, but uh, I haven't really played around with it I just watched uh, Etho's episode on it but uh, that'll be kind of cool so it won't be so if I can breed them properly uh, they could potentially still produce the same amount of, uh, of biomass per sapling I'll just have to breed them a little bit and I got the bees to do it so um yeah not, not a whole else, a lot has been going on uh, let's go let me grab some bone meal and uh, check on my uh, oh where am I going check on my flower farm let me see what's going on with the flowers three stacks three stacks one stack, four stacks, 17 stacks, 
Uh, ooh, eight stacks. That's good. Seven stacks. I think that's all my flowers. All the flowers that I've been getting. Jeez, what the heck am I doing? Go get bone meal. Jeez. That's good. Oh. It's too much. Oh, I need to put those away. You can stay on the ground for a second. Um, you can go away. You can go away. You can go away. You can go away. And you. And you. And... And how much room do I got? Four. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. Da, da, da. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. Uh, um, whoa. Hello. Stop it. I don't know if I'm going to keep the uh, flower farm going. Oh, what the heck am I doing? Give me that back. That's what I want to put in there. Yeah. Bone meal has no business being in there. Uh, let's see how this is doing. 66%. Doesn't w doesn't last very long on the on the scrap. It takes lots of uh, stuff to make the scrap, and you don't get a lot. Oh, hello. Two creepers. Thank you for not exploding. Reterraforming my area. Uh, da, da. And a zombie. Ooh, angry zombie. He's so angry. Bad panda. Bad panda. Okay. Oh! Oh! Where the heck did he come from? What do we got in here? Got some dirt. Let's go ahead and lock it up. <sighs> mm hmm. So let's go ahead and put these back. I probably lost a few, so I'll just go like this. Yep. And three more. Uh, yep. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Well, let's see. I guess we can. Oh, I love this shovel. Bam. <laughs> Give me that one too. And uh, if you don't know some of the other stuff that you can do with this shovel, it's pretty nice. Um, let me see. Do I have any? I have concrete. Okay, watch this. So we place concrete down, right? Now, we get out our shovel of the earth mover. And if I right click on it, gee! See that? Isn't that nice? As long as you have it in your inventory, when you right click on whatever material, see like that, I had some, I had some uh, dirt. Uh, whatever material you have still in your inventory will get placed in a th in a uh, three by three. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. I need to turn my volume up a little bit. Can't hear them. Go ahead and fix this area. Two. Yeah, that's it. Do I have any stone? Nope. Okay. So how this uh, script is, it'll keep trying to suck out until it gets some. So, there we go. Another creeper right there. I see ya. Ooh. And there's no dirt there, so he's, uh, he didn't plant any bone meal. So let's go ahead and transplant, I guess. <sighs> Stupid zombies. <sighs> what? I'm not over there. <laughs> oh, 
Push him around. Push him around. Hmm. Interesting. Tote. And voila. Okay. So the next time he goes back, it should work. At least for the, no, it's right here, I think. Well, he'll he'll keep doing his thing. And let's go. Go back home. Yep. You know what? We've had Bob for a while. <clears throat> Let's see, where did I put it? I wanted to give him a gift. Um, I think it's in here. I think I just threw it in my sorting system. Uh, yes, there it is. I wanted to give him a gift. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I don't have an enchanting table up anymore. Um, I wonder if uh, Feed the Beast is going to need the uh, name tag stuff. So I heard they're getting name tags in vanilla. I haven't played in a long time, but keep looking at the videos. Eh, knockback. Whatever. Uh, oh, wrong way, wrong road. There we go. And you think I can throw it in from down here? Or am I going to have to be up there? <laughs> Fail number one. Oh, there, I think you got it. Yep. Automatically switch to it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hope you like that, Bob. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, I am going to wait until I can get a hold of uh, Gerbo. And I will finish up the episode after that. So, we will be back in a little bit. This will end, end my episode. <laughs> All right, I got something to show you. <clears throat> I went looking for a stronghold. Okay. And follow me. Anyway, uh, I followed it and it took me to here. Mm hmm. And. Yeah, that's where they end up. Was this like hollow like this? No, I I dug all this out. Okay. Cuz yeah, I tried to uh, to find it earlier and it would just like point me everywhere. Yeah, I I put these uh these blocks on because I can see through them. Mhm. Mm um and there's no bricks anywhere. Hey, ow. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let me out of here. <laughs> well, but yeah. Hmm. So I don't know if we need to cheat the Cause, blocks in or. Because I know it's supposed to be like in, like, I think it's a thousand by a thousand radius of zero zero. Mm hmm. Well, I also went trying to find the other one, and I went away from this uh, this point. I wonder like, if there's like an MC edit or something that we could look through the map just to see if there is one. Yeah, I've um, I've done a little bit of research, and uh, but some of the mods just like yeah, they're they're saying they like some of them were if there's map was created and then there was an update. Okay. Then uh, it like screws up the positioning of them or something, but uh, yeah, I don't know for sure. Or if maybe because we have mistcraft, we have to 
you know, mistcraft a portal in or something. Did you look on, like, the wiki? Is there anything from the ultimate pack that suggests that it's a bug? Uh, yeah, just a bug from uh, some of the forum things, but they said that they fixed it. And they said that uh, it's also happened in vanilla a couple of times, but... Did you check the village right here? What about it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's, em it's empty. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we can try to find the other ones, but... You know, I went to spawn, went to the other side. Oh, did you see the oil here? Yeah, I did. What the heck are you? Yeah, I, I went searching everywhere for it. I, uh... I went to, uh... I don't know, positive 13,000, I think, or something like that, and the X. Yeah, because I remember coming here, because I have a beacon right here. My a apiaries are right here. Oh, yeah. Alright, well... Um... I think I'll make a backup of the map and use the backup to try to see if there is even one okay. in the map. Maybe there's um, like a way that you could uh, do the... Uh, maybe they got some software on there they could put in the seed or something and it'll yeah, but give it to you. Because, because of the like uh, extra biomes and stuff, Right. Um, like the mods that do that don't have like... The oh, okay. seed for F FTB or whatever. Right, they're for the vanilla. Yeah, yeah. God, this is a weird little chunk error. Or where are you like, at? <laughs> uh, negative nine fifty two, positive three hundred four. There's like just like two little nine fifty two mountain desert, and then jungle, mini jungle, and then mountain desert. <laughs> I have no idea where you are. Oh, oh, well. Yeah, it's uh, right by where the the uh, stronghold's supposed to be. But yeah, there's like little, like, uh, I don't know, I think that's what, two chunks? Maybe three chunks inside the, what is this, mini jungle? Where there's just a random three chunks of uh, mountain desert. Oh. <laughs> and there's there's another one. Random like five chunks just sitting in here. Square edges. <coughs> like yeah. late generation kind of thing. Well, I, I've seen it before. Just It's like they didn't blend the two um biomes together properly. Okay. So it's just like a square of like this one is exactly one chunk square of mountain desert. And surrounding it is the uh, mini jungle. You know what I think it is? It probably only got loaded after like, you know, the map got screwed up. Mm, maybe. Ah, oh, I see you now. Oh yeah, ha! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, right over here. Ooh, quicksand. Yeah, I gathered some of that. <laughs> and Enderman can die in them. Did you know that? They don't teleport out. Or at least really? the one that uh, that I got to follow follow in there. He didn't. Uh, he Do these didn't things have gravity? Out. Like, no, oh, no they, they, they don't. float. Make a make a little secret way into your base. Oop. Ow. <laughs> Just like sink down into your base. <laughs> Take like seven minutes. <laughs> uh. Alright, I'm I'm gonna do some research. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end my episode, I think. All right. So. Bye, guys. All right, guys. I'm back. Um, yeah, we're still not sure what to do. If nothing else, uh, 
you know, he has the uh, end page for the uh, for the end, so we can make a mistcraft world, and we can see if there's ender bees in there. Um, but uh, if not, he can always just cheat me in some ender bees, and there's nothing else I can do other than that. So, <coughs> but uh, yeah, after uh, after we got done with that, I wanted to show you what we were working on. He wanted uh, a better, uh, more productive way of making his biomass. And uh, after thinking about it for a while, I came up with this. This is uh, four fermenters. Uh, that's not mine. I could have lost my hand. Uh, but these are liquid tesseracts right there. Uh, inside so you have your you have a energy test rack right there and then the four uh, fermenters like that quiet you but uh, yeah so you have the fermenters like that energy test rack inside like that inside these four uh, relays is the mulch uh, test rack inside those four relays. There's another item test rack that has the uh, the saplings, and then it comes down to another liquid test rack that goes out to um, his uh, biomass um, tank. And then we made a tank underneath here for apple juice, which isn't being pumped out for some reason. Hmm. I don't know why that is. Eh? No? Hello? Nothing? Yeah. Anyhow, um, yeah, I like this nice compact design. Uh, Gerbo really likes it as well. And uh, pretty simple. I'm going to need three, probably do it with like four to five tesseracts, depending on how many uh, liquid duct you want to want to run. Because you could just put uh, like one liquid tesseract in the middle for the uh, apple juice or water or honey. And then, uh, like up above, have energy conduit, or the redstone conduit come down to these spots here and just have either a connection to power or a test rack up top. And then you can run the liquid duct right to a, another tank or something like that. Not, not a nether tank, but another tank somewhere. But uh, yeah, like the design works really well. It's uh, you know, nice and compact. It only takes up uh, really a three by three by. Oh, uh, you can make it in a three by three by four, really, depending on your uh, how many uh, conduit and whatnot you want to use. But um, yeah, that's uh, all I wanted to show you. And we'll end the episode. So like it if you like it. Dislike if you dislike it. <laughs> like it if you like it. Dislike if you just don't like it. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked or disliked about it. And uh, if you want, I can do a little tutorial on this. But it is pretty simple to set up. Um, but uh, yeah. Let me know what you think, and we will see you next time. Until then, I'm out of here.